I've got another Premiere Pro tutorial for you. My name is Phil Ebener from videoschoolonline.com and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen footage right within Adobe Premiere Pro. It's an easy one and I'll show you how to do it right now. There are two quick ways to sharpen footage in the latest versions of Premiere Pro, CC 2018. They can be found under the blur and sharpen bin under video effects. So one is just sharp and one's called unsharp mask. So don't get, get confused about unsharp mask. That actually is for sharpening, not unsharpening. So with sharpen, if you just apply sharpen to any of these clips or any of your clips, I'm going to make this bigger so you can see a little bit better. It just has a simple slider that if you drag to the right, if I keep going, you can see that it starts to just make everything really crazy, really sharp is trying to bring out all that detail. So obviously you don't want to go that crazy. I purposely shot this video clip with a very shallow depth of field. So you can see this little lucky cat figurine. Uh, if I turn this off, the eyes and the face of this cat is, is still a little blurry. So I wanted to go in and sharpen it. So it's important to know that sharpening is not going to make out of focus footage in focus, but it can start to bring out some of the details. And if something's slightly sharp, you might be able to bring it back. And so with the sharpening off and then on, you can see that it definitely brings back that detail, but then you also get this digital noise and grain in the background because that's what's actually being added to create this sort of sharpness. So you might want to use this and just scale it up a little bit. Now let's use the unsharp mask to see what the difference is. So with the unsharp mask, if we apply this to this clip, just by dragging and dropping it up into the effects controls, you'll see that you have three different sliders, amount, radius, and threshold. So with the mount, it's kind of similar. If we drag this to the right, you can see that it starts to sharpen things. So let's 500 is the max, so let's just take it all the way there. It already automatically is a little bit cleaner than with the sharpen effect. The radius slider is the next option, and if we drag this up, you can see what starts to happen. It gets really weird. It's this weird sort of halo glow effect, and it's basically looking at pixels and the edges of things in your video, and it's applying the sharpening to a larger radius or a larger amount of pixels around each sort of part of your image that's being sharpened. And so we can drag this up slightly to get even more sharp. So if I turn this on and off, you can see that, yes, now it is sharp, but again, we have that sort of digital noise in the background. And that's where threshold comes in. Threshold will basically look at the detailed parts of your image with lots of details and it will sharpen that, but then it will look at the parts of your image that is more a similar color, a similar tone, and it will remove that sharpening from it, which is good for in backgrounds like this where you can really notice a lot of that grain. So if I drag this slider up slightly, you can start to see that the background starts to look a little bit better while the foreground is still being sharpened. Still, if I turn this on and off, you can see that the foreground element is still being sharpened and we get more details on this little lucky cat's face. If I drag this all the way up, then it doesn't really do that much. And it's kind of weird that this slider, it goes from zero to one, but there are, it's actually doing something in between here. So I find that putting it right around here, around the 10 to 20% mark in this slider is pretty good. And so again, showing the before and after with it off, on, off, on, you get a lot of that detail. With either of these effects, with the new versions of Premiere Pro, you have these masks. So if you do only want to apply it to a certain part, say we only want to apply it to our cat's face, we can use something like this ellipse mask. We can move this around, put it right over our cat's face, resize, or you could do a custom shape with the free draw bezier tool. We can increase the feathering, which I always tend to do so that this effect sort of blends and it's not just a hard line and around the circle that's being affected. So that's great if you have one specific part and then you don't really have to worry about the background getting sharpening applied and having that noise because it's out of focus anyways and you want it to be out of focus. So that's a way that you can fine tune either of these effects as well. 
So ultimately, hopefully this showed you how unsharp mask this effect can really help you fine tune your sharpening right within Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.